I would prefer not being eaten by doggies. Die, rats! Alright, let's save here. We have gotten quite far, so I don't really want... Yeah, cute, but yeah, I know. That makes so sad sounds, but. I really don't want to be killed by a doggy. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Alright, so we need to bring this with us now. I still haven't gotten the key for that chest though. supposed to put this oh hello that's a that's a drop you were already killed by a dog yeah I, I mean you already killed me once I'm not going to let them kill me twice Oh, hello! Here we go! Ah, uh, Where do I put this up? My Come on. I managed to see the way one of the charms they were smashing in the warehouse. Okay. And then you locked yourself in here. Good job, man. Good job. Right, so now we're stuck. Yep, on the way down. All right, we. No, it's a perfect weather for a bath. It's Samuel. I'm here. Yeah, I know. I saw you. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go. All right, so that face, yeah, I knew. We killed 74 Holsteins, we rung for alarms. Overall chaos, high. Help granny infect the bottle street gang, rescued grift scavenger, saved Captain Carno, saved Elsa from Seelis Overseers and poisoned the high overseer Campbell. We have six of seven rooms found, two of five bone charms, one of one outside the shrines, sock paintings, mm, zero of one, and coins quite few. 
few of many. Oh well, it's fine. I'm happy with that result. Elsa! Yee! Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. Yeah, maybe. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. All right. So, there we go. We're officially on the last cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. A bit cold, though. Well, what do you expect from after three hours in a pot? Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you. Hopefully, the high overseer is. All right, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. I probably be keeping on for an half an hour, an hour more. So. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were on the. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal looks not the best. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal herself, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvus. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with Lady. All right. Sleepy time. Learn about the weepers. All right. Hello. We're awake. And it's normal. Nothing strange right now. No. Nothing weird is going on. Hello. Chapter 36. As yet I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Cuthbert. Twins they are, four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight degree. From earliest memory, they have used me in every way. <laughs> I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique. I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it assorted vipers they had collected over several weeks. All right. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me, barely alive. I had kicked a few serpents to a pulp and others had slithered away. But not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, face. The wounds kept me convalescent for months while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallet! Bring me wine. <coughs> Tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my tenth birthday. Coffee. Alright, uh, those two are weird. But so are you, you're probably also damaged in the head somehow, if you have survived those experiences.
Alright, so that's it there. Let's go here. Let's turn in here. Uh, hello. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's lucky. duty to report This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. The state depends is that on so? you. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. <gasps> Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. Yeah, it does. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. Uh -huh. I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. Kept blueprints, if anyone is curious. I am. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind that I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. All right. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. Like common courtesy? Porvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition? A weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, oh, nice. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Oh, there is? Uh, oh, there. Over there! I see it! We're going for it. Swim over there. Yeah, we can. Nice. There's weird things in the water, though. There's two more runes over there. There's something in the water that wants to eat me. It's after me. Well, I'm not going to stick around and see what's in there. So, let's see then. So, where are you? You're underneath here somehow? Both you and you? Alright, I'm not going to get at you right now. Let's see, who am I supposed to speak to? Ah, hello, Corva. Ah, hello, there we go. Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Martin. I used to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. Poor bastard. Weeper? There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. All right. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend to servant them, but they die of fear on the spot. I'm Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
Hello. I have sleep poison, but I'm not really too curious about that. Another rune over here. Thank you. Hello. Anyone else that want to die today? Weepers, though, are. Not pretty at all. I don't like weepers. They are downgraded zombie. Alright. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. What? Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. They're just... All right. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Sure. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corbin. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. So we do. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Weepers, where? I want to see them. I already took care of them. Alright, eliminate the Pendleton twins. Corp. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in the Yeah, there will be more. The plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. <laughs> now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Yeah, sure. Hello, Samuel. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Sure. Take me. Whoops. you as close as I can to the golden cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ID. 